Man, we knew LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga was going to be big, but this is bringing it to a whole nother level. Today, exophase.com revealed all the trophies for LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga, and we're going to be going through all of the 46 trophies in this video and how you will be able to unlock all of these trophies. Before we break down all of these trophies, if you could go ahead and leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel, it would be greatly appreciated. It's possible for us to hit 5,000 subscribers before April 5th and LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga comes out, but I'm going to need all your help to get there. I do really appreciate the support, and let's get started with breaking down all of these trophies. Now, as you can see, we have exophase.com pulled up, and it looks like there's different points and rarities for each of the trophies, and it looks like each trophy has like a little image. Is it possible to open the image in a different tab? Yes, it is. It looks like uh, kind of low quality, but you can see that they do have a bunch of little images for each of these trophies that we can take a look at. So first up, let's just go down the list, I guess. A long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, that is collect all of the trophies. That looks like that is the most difficult trophy to get. If you look at all of the trophy colors here. Yes, yeah, so that looks like the most difficult one, the blue one. Um, then we have the Phantom Menace. So complete the Phantom Menace, complete Attack of the Clones, complete Revenge of the Sith. So there's a bunch of them. Then it's complete each of the main story missions. So, and it's just the title of the film it's true all of it is complete the skywalker saga so that means if you complete all nine movies you get it's true all of it so the arachnus sector complete all events on geonosis and tatooine so that looks like geonosis and tatooine is going to be a sector the greater javin that might be a another sector javin so that's complete all events on bespin crate and hoth New Territories is complete all events on Cantonica, Yavin 4, and Agent Claw. So it looks like they're going to give us all of the different sectors that there is in the open world in these trophies. So Cantonica, Yavin 4, and Agent Claw is a territory. The Rishi Maze. So it looks like Kamino is the only planet from the Rishi Maze that they put in the Skywalker Saga, even though there is more. But this is the only one in the game. So we have that one. We have the interior, complete all events on Coruscant, Jakku, and Takudana. So that's like the core of the galaxy. That's like the middle planets. That makes sense. Then we have the slice, which is complete all events on Kashyyyk and Kijimi. And then trailing sectors, complete all events on Dakar, Naboo, and Pasana. Interesting. Unknown regions as well. We have Octo, Endor, Kefbur, and Exegol. I didn't know Endor was in the unknown regions. That's interesting. Although I guess that does make sense because they would want to build the second Death Star somewhere where nobody would really want to find it, right? So that's interesting that Endor's in the unknown regions, but makes sense. Western Reaches, we have complete all events on Dagobah, Mustafar, and Utapau. I would have thought that Dagobah and Mustafar would be more unknown regions than Endor, but that makes sense. That's interesting. So that's the Western part of the map. And then you have, you think you're some kind of Jedi, achieve true Jedi in a single level. So when you get true Jedi for the first time, you get this trophy. Now we have, now I am the master, which is achieve true Jedi in every level. So that means you get true Jedi in every single level in all the nine movies, not just true Jedi in one of the movies. Then we have impressive, most impressive, complete all level challenges in a single level. So that is like collect all the collectibles and complete all the challenges. Interesting. All right. You get a trophy for that. No more training do you require. So that means if you complete all level challenges, you get this little trophy here. A fine addition to my collection is collect all the mini kits in a single level. That's pretty straightforward. Is this Grievous here? It looks like General Grievous. Interesting. You needn't worry about your reward. Collect all the mini kits in the entire game. So that's Princess Leia there. Raw untamed power is fully upgrade a character class. So we've seen that Lego Star Wars The Skywalker Saga will have a variety of different character classes. So it looks like when you fully upgrade one, you will get this trophy. So that's only just for one character class though. Now power unlimited power is when you completely upgrade all of the character classes. So I'm definitely be striving to get this one as soon as I can when the game comes out. Interesting. Looks like Palpatine in there. Is this episode 9 Palpatine by chance? It looks like it might be, but I can't really tell based off of the screenshot. So that's interesting. You may fire when ready. You have a thousand kyber bricks. All right. So I know there's like, isn't there 1,166? So when you get 1,000, you get this one. So this one looks like it's a pretty rare achievement to get. So that makes sense. Oh, it looks like I, I skipped over one. My bad, guys. What have you done with those plans? So that's collect every data card. Uh, you might have seen it in some of the gameplay that was released from the people that got the game early. Um, data cards are kind of scattered around the map. Uh, so if you collect every data card, then you get this trophy here. Hello there. Collect all characters. That's a great name for all of the characters. Uh, so yeah, that one seems like it's going to be 
uh, definitely one everyone's gonna try and get. See you around, kid. Complete all of the events in the galaxy. So that's every single event that's on every single hub world and everything in the entire game. So that's gonna be a pretty rare achievement, it looks like, as well. The fastest hunk of junk in the galaxy. So complete all races in the galaxy. They have, like, these little races on the planets and in the open world space sections that I think you can race, obviously. Do or do not, there is no try. Complete all galaxy challenges. Uh, but... What's the difference between a galaxy challenge and like the events challenges? I'm interested. I'm not really sure about that one. If someone could explain in the comment section down below. Jedi business is use Jedi mind tricks to make five people fight simultaneously in the cantina. So that's funny. If you use the Jedi mind trick to anger five people at the same time, then you get this achievement. Uh, keep that one in mind when you go to the cantina. I've never seen a real one. So ride all creatures throughout the galaxy that you have available to you in the open world. It's pretty straightforward. You guys got yourself a ship, earned 17,000 studs, so that's the amount of credits I think it took to hire Han Solo. So, interesting that they took 17,000 studs and made that a trophy. I do think that's a cool one. Although, that does seem like a pretty small sum when you compare it to the next one, which is, what, 10 billion studs? Is that what this is? One business in the galaxy. Uh, wow, that's a lot of studs. Alright. Get the crews to their TIE Fighters so that destroy 100 TIE Fighters doesn't seem too difficult. Aggressive negotiations is defeat three enemies at the same time with an explosion. Also doesn't seem super difficult. And who gave you permission? Shoot helmets off 50 enemies. Uh, I can see that one being done pretty quick as well. A little short for a stormtrooper is create 25 disguises as hero characters. So I think that means if you disguise yourself as a stormtrooper, as like Luke Skywalker, for example, that counts as one. And then if you do it for Han Solo, that counts as two. You do it for Chewbacca, that counts as three. Do it for Princess Leia, that counts as four. So that makes sense. I don't like you either. Achieve a combat multiplier score of 30. That means if you get a combo of 30 hits, then you get this achievement here. Hey, what are you trying to push on us? This is complete all the Jawa's faulty droid missions on Tatooine. So if you complete all the Jawa missions, you get this reward. Is that Chopper? Oh, I thought that was Chopper. Nope, that just looks like a different droid. Gonk. Complete all the Gonk droid escort missions. Of course, TT Games had to put something in with the Gonk droid. That just makes sense. And then we have I Can Fly Anything. Complete a flight level without dying. That one seems uh, another, like another kind of challenging one, but I can see people going for it, and it looks like it's just an x wing So that's every single character trophy that we've seen in LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. A lot of these don't seem super difficult, but then there's a couple in that that are like, wow, that's going to be really challenging. Uh, it is a LEGO game, so I'm not expecting like crazy challenges like this is Elden Ring or anything, but I mean, this is just, it's pretty cool to see like all of the different things that we'll be able to do and get rewarded for in LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga. Now, again, we're really trying to hit 5,000 subscribers pretty soon. So if you could support us and subscribe to the channel, that would be greatly appreciated. Thank you so much for watching this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.